Welcome to today's Big Brother Over the Top updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Rod Heffer. And thank you so much for your support on Patreon. You're awesome. And I hope you're enjoying this new format of Big Brother. I'm really digging it so far. It's like a whole new world. And like I still love my, you know, regular summer Big Brother. But this is fun too. It's different. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you want to be house guest of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. We'd really appreciate it. Alright, so last night... Cornbread was evicted by a vote of 9 to 1. It would have been unanimous, but Alex threw a hinky vote in there against Danielle. See what you did. <laughs> we'll come back to that. But Cornbread, also, this is notable, on the way out he said, Fook y'all. <laughs> he said the real thing. Um, that was crazy. Really, really classy, man. Really classy. I don't know. Some people are saying maybe he said, like, good luck. Like, good luck, but um, it definitely sounded like the F word to me. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I hope some people do interviews with him after and ask him about that, because I'd, I'd be curious to know. All right, so there was some time in between the eviction and the HOH competition last night. So before the comp, people were trying to figure out where that stray vote came from. So I'm guessing that by doing that, um, just in general, Alex was trying to, like, shake things up and make people really paranoid, but... It's almost like, too, she was trying to pin it on America. She's trying to frame us, you know, trying to make it look like we voted out Danielle. Guess who fell for it? Monty and Wheatney. They thought it was America. Monty's like, we should have voted out Danielle. We could have had the votes with America. Oh, God. Jason is like, yo, hookahs. People did this all the time on my season. <laughs> Someone's just messing with us. So, like, just don't even think about it. It's fine. Justin and Shane were talking. They think that it was either Alex or Scott. There you go. Because, uh, you know, they saw Alex and Scott scheming with Monty, and they're like, that's fishy. We got to win this HOH because there's some sketchy stuff going on. So then also before the HOH, Scott pulls Shelby aside, and he tells her, you cannot trust Jason. So he sees that Shelby likes to hang out with him. She's like all over Jason, like literally all over him all the time. Uh, I think he's like weirdly possessive of her. Like Scott is possessive of Shelby. It's strange, but he's telling her like, yeah, you asked Jason if Cornbread was going home and he knew that he definitely was, but he didn't tell you and like a friend wouldn't do that. So then Shelby's like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So <laughs> then Shelby rats out Justin to Scott uh, because Justin was eavesdropping on Scott's conversation with Alex and Monty that I was just talking about before. Uh, she's like, yeah, they were listening in. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I know. We got to look out for them. All right. So then there's an, annou an announcement from Big Brother. BB is like, house guests, put on some freaking athletic wear for this HOH comp. So at 9 p.m., they go outside, out to the backyard, and it's go time. It's an endurance competition, and this reminded me a lot of, like, it was very Survivor style. So they were uh, standing on these platforms, and it was like a night, as in K-N-I-G-H-T theme, not like night. <laughs> so uh, each house guest had a night version of themselves, and they had to hold up this crown on the night using this long pole that was supposed to be like a sword. Um, so, I mean, the, the pole was quite wobbly, so <laughs> you had to be really careful with it. Um, and, you know, if it falls, the crown falls, you're out. So to make it more difficult, after one hour, you can only use one hand. So, you know, you can start off using two hands. And they didn't say that you couldn't, um, you know, lean it against your stomach or something. Like, a lot of people were stabilizing it against themselves. And it was kind of unclear if that was allowed or not. But they didn't get in trouble for it. So I guess it was allowed. Um, but the competition started off really quiet. Nobody was saying anything. Everybody was super focused. Monty was watching like this literally sitting on a throne wearing a crown this was like a dream come true for him so <laughs> king money so shelby was the first one out are you surprised she only lasted for like 13 minutes and then jason and then shane oh man okay so then um you know some people started to talk a little bit but i mean for the most part there were some people who didn't talk at all like neely barely talked until the end whitney was like this the whole time 
Like, she had this, like, weird stare going on. It was crazy. Um, but I want to know, why did Justin decide not to wear a shirt? Who does that? Who goes out for a competition at night without a shirt on? Yeah, it was cold out there. It was cold. Uh, so he was, like, dancing around the whole time and was like, oh, my God. He is going to blow this. He's not taking this seriously. But he actually was. And he was up there for a long time. Literally, like... But he was still holding on to it. It was crazy. All right. So after one hour, they were only allowed to use one hand. Uh, and Big Brother gave them these, like, little pouches. Like, these crossbody pouches to put their other hand in. <laughs> I guess, like, to rest or whatever. Uh, so the next three out. We've got Morgan, Scott, and Chrissy. So then, a little while later, Big Brother calls out Alex for cheating, basically. They gave her a warning. She had her hand, her other hand that she wasn't using on the pole, like, through the pouch. So she was cheating, and she still got to stay in the competition, which, I don't, you know, it's kind of messed up. She did get the warning, and I guess if other people had been doing that too, they would have gotten a warning. But still, it's like, it's kind of messed up. All right. So then, Danielle was the next one out. Really? <laughs> Danielle was the next one out, followed by Whitney. And then, when Whitney got over to the sidelines, she was kind of crying a little bit. I think she was upset that she lost, and she was, like, in pain. Because she was one of the people who was, like, basically stabbing herself with this pole. Because she was, like, trying to um, hold it up somewhat with her, like, stomach. So it was, like, really painful. Um... But then, Justin took it too far with that dancing. He was all like, jiggly legs, Justin. He was out after two hours and ten minutes. I cannot believe he was in the final three for that competition. That is wild. So, in the end, it came down to Neely and Alex. So, Alex is like, you want to make a deal, Neely? And Neely's like, um, alright, what you got? So, they both guarantee each other safety, but they're both like, I want it. So neither of them want to get down. Um, and Alex is like, here's a really good deal. I won't nominate you. And I think she said for the whole game. And then she said, we can split this HOH right down the middle. You'll get a nominee. We can share the HOH room. Um, and Neely's like, yeah, but I really want this too. I really want to be the winner here. And, you know, some of the people on the sidelines are like, don't do it. Don't take the deal. Keep going. So... Neely's saying that she trusts and respects Alex, but she wants to keep holding on. Well, didn't last much longer after that. Um, I think it was only like 10 minutes after that or so. Neely dropped at 11.27 p.m., so she lasted 2 hours and 23 minutes, and Alex won the first HOH comp. So, Monty says, congrats on becoming the new house head hold. Is he serious? Was that a joke? Was that like a weird, lame joke that we don't get, or is he serious? Okay. So then, even before everybody went inside, Monty and Alex are whispering, and they're like, oh, Danielle, she's going up on the block. And then Monty's like, yeah, and Justin. Um, I think I know who Justin wants out, or who Monty, the old house head hold, wants out this week. <laughs> so anyway... Alex and Shelby are celebrating in the storage room. They're jumping around and they're chanting, They are screwed! They are screwed! So, you know, they're really against... It's very divided right now. There's two sides, two clear sides forming. So Alex is like, I'm not going to put up Neely. I've got bigger fish to fry. But the rest of that deal is off because she did not take it. She was like, no, I'm going to keep competing. So that's all off the table. Maybe she'll share the HOH room for one night. Oh, snap. All right, so... Um, they were talking about how they noticed during the competition that that whole other side of the house was really only cheering for Justin. They didn't cheer for Neely until Justin was out of the comp. So they want to tell Neely that she's on the bottom of her alliance and they want to try and pull her in to their group. Uh, so then Alex starts asking America, please don't nominate any of the plastics. How funny would it be though <laughs> if... Her sister was nominated during her HOH reign. I mean, it's a little bit uh, sadistic, but it's also kind of funny. So anyway, uh, Scott is amped up. He is talking to Alex in the storage room now, and they're all like, They are screwed! They are screwed! Dancing around. He's like, I'm so happy for you, girl. And he's saying, We have the votes this week. You can get rid of whoever you want. It's going to be me, Monty, and the rest of the girls. You know, the three other plastics. So then, 
Uh, Alex is like, yeah, I want to make a big move this week. And she's hoping to pull in Neely and Chrissy for extra votes. And Scott's, Scott's getting a little ahead of himself here. <laughs> He's like, I just want you to know that nobody who has won the second HOH has ever won the whole thing, nor has the first person to walk in the house at the beginning of the season. So he was the first person to walk in this season. Of course, Alex is the second HOH, so he's like, if one of us wins, like, we're breaking records. Slow down, man. It's week two, okay? It's week two. Relax. So then, <laughs> he's getting way ahead of himself. So then, Monty and the Plastics were strategizing in the Tokyo room, and I thought I heard somebody say, like, this morning that they were going to call themselves Monty's Pythons, and, like, I don't like this group, but that name is hilarious. I'm sorry. That's funny. But anyway, Monty and the Plastics, Tokyo room. They're talking about how Shane and Justin were eavesdropping earlier. That's what we talked about before, before the HOH competition. And Monty's like, yeah, I don't trust Shane anymore. Um, we can't trust him. So Alex reveals that her targets this week are Danielle, Shane, and Justin. She's not totally sure which one she's going after yet, but Monty's like, I hope all three of them are up there. So then Alex says that her gut instinct is to put up Shane and Danielle, the showmance. And Monty's like, mm, I think you should let America put up Danielle. <laughs> Which is hilarious because he is under the impression that America voted out Danielle. But Alex knows that it was her. And she's like, we can't leave that up to chance. <laughs> no, we can't. Also, you have to wonder, does Shane, uh, not Shane, does Monty want that? Because he knows there's a really good chance that America would put him up. So he's like, leave, you know, somebody else in front of me to be America's nominee. I don't know if he's that smart, though. I don't know. Um, but anyway... That was pretty much it for the game chat last night. I mean, there was some repetition of that, but other than that, they were hanging out. All right, so this morning, there was an announcement from Julie, and she let the house guests know. Every week for the next seven weeks, America's going to be voting on one house guest to receive a care package. So we saw this debut during Big Brother 18, and it seemed to be pretty popular, seemed to be a big hit, so they brought it back. And uh, the voting is open now for the first care package. But just like last season, uh, each house guest can only get one care package. Unless all of the remaining house guests have already received one, then everybody's eligible again. Um, so CBS already has all of the care packages up on the website so that you can plan out like who you're going to vote for each week. Because you don't want to like waste your people in the beginning you know you want to give them the best care package possible so let's just quickly go through what they are so this week and the house guests don't know what the care packages are yet they're not going to find out until that dookie is dropped in the backyard <laughs> so week one this week is called save a friend and whoever gets the care package this week is going to be able to keep one person safe from eviction i don't think they're allowed to use it on themselves so they have to pick one friend keep safe. All right, week two, pick a veto. Whoever gets that one is going to pick which type of veto the house guests will compete for. So it can either be diamond POV, uh, which means they get to use the veto and pick the replacement, double veto, which means that two vetoes will be up for grabs in the competition, or boomerang, which means that the winner can use it on two, up to two nominees. So I don't know though, does that mean the two initial nominees, or does that mean they can use it on one person, then the HOH replaces that, and then they can use it on that replacement? Because that would be cool. And that would make sense with the title Boomerang, right? I think it, it could be like that, but I'm not totally sure on that. Uh, week three, Safety Servant. Whoever gets the care package that week is safe for the week, but they also have to be uh, the HOH's personal servant. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, week four. Uh, that person will get to eliminate three eviction votes. That's a big deal in week four. Uh, week five, co-HOH. We saw that last week, uh, last season, sorry. So that person is going to get to pick one nominee. They're going to get to stay in the HOH room. They get their basket, blah, 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 blah. Remember when Meech and Natalie totally destroyed the co-HOH week and just, like, effed up the game? Yeah. All right. <laughs> week six. Double eviction veto. All right, so obviously there's going to be a double eviction that week, and instead of having a veto competition, the veto holder will be whoever gets that care package. 
that's pretty interesting. Week seven, final four challenge. This is the last care package. Whoever gets this one, they're gonna have the opportunity to advance to the final four directly. Like, they don't even have to pass go and collect 200. So <laughs> they're gonna get a challenge from Big Brother. If they're successful, they will advance to the final four. That's wild. All right, so back to the present time. Morgan and Alex had a quick chat in the bathroom area this morning, and Alex reveals that she was the hinky vote last night. And Morgan's just like, what? So Alex is like, I'll explain it later. I'm only telling you, so don't F this up. Uh, so then Alex says, I'm already sensing that Monty's going to be trying to protect Shane this week. It seems pretty obvious that he wants either Danielle or Justin out. And Alex is like, nope, I'm not going to let freaking Monty dictate my HOH. So she's not saying that she's going after Shane right now. But she's not going to, like, close that door just because of Monty. Good for you, Alex. For real. All right. So then today uh, they had the Q&A with Julie, and it was actually live. She was actually, you know, talking to them live. <laughs> it was at 2 p.m., and some of the house guests went, like, all out getting ready for it. Like, do the hair, do the makeup, cute outfit, whatever. Um, so at 2 p.m. it started. Each house guest got a question. There was nothing earth shattering, so I'm not gonna like go into it all. It's just like, oh, what do you think so far? Like, you were up on the block, how did it feel? What was your HOH like? Blah blah blah. Alright, so the Q&A lasted less than 10 minutes and everybody was just like, I got ready for this? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, so other than that, uh, Alex still did not get her HOH room yet. When is that gonna happen? I guess hopefully this afternoon, tonight? We'll see. Uh, but tomorrow, I believe they will be giving out the first care package, so that should be exciting. Let me know who you guys are voting for in the comments, and until tomorrow, much love.